Describe why patients with cystic fibrosis present with bowel obstruction. Remember, in cystic fibrosis, abbreviated CF, you have a defective CFTR gene. If we consider this, here we have the cell and here we have the lumen. So this can be in the lungs, in the bowel, in the pancreas, etc. The CFTR transmembrane receptor is responsible for the transfer of chloride ions out of the cell. So these are going out of the cell into the lumen, as well as inhibition of the endothelial sodium channel. So remember this channel usually brings sodium into the cell. So this is sodium. Now, a very important concept that you need to know is that wherever sodium travels, water follows. So as long as sodium is going into the cell, water shall follow. So what happens in cystic fibrosis is that the CFTR fails to take chloride out of the cell and fails to inhibit sodium movement into the cell. Thus, sodium continues to move into the cell alongside water. A lot of water is moving from the lumen into the cells and into the interstitial fluid. What this results in is dehydration of the lumen and the contents of the lumen. So here in grey, this is dehydrated. Whereas here in blue, the lumen is maintaining its lubrication and hydration. So this results in a thickened dehydrated mucus that builds up in the lumen, for example, of the lungs or the pancreas. The same concept applies to the bowel. Fecal matter inside the bowel can dehydrate and cause obstruction. In neonates, this results in meconium ileus, and in children, this results in distal intestinal obstruction syndrome.